Hello, on today's episode, 139 workers rounded up. Weather and community updates. All this on the Micronation News Broadcast. Thursday. I'm Alana Claris Pedras and you're tuned into the Micronesia News Broadcast. In our first story, 109 workers that were bound for Micronesia were rescued at the port of Bataan on Tuesday. The National Bureau of Investigation and the Philippine Coast Guard raided the Forever Lucky cruise ship after stuck in port with inadequate food and water and lacked proper sleeping quarters. These workers were allegedly going to Yap to cater to the game, games. however, they lacked the qualifications necessary to go abroad. If you remember, the Forever Lucky cruise ship was supposed to serve room and board during the game since space on island is limited. Human trafficking is a serious matter and the abuse of freedom law, and human rights should not be tolerated, especially here in Micronesia. In our second story, sometime after the Second Great World War, testing of nuclear devices and ordinances was conducted in the Marshall Islands. The people of Marshalls were so greatly affected that the people of Bikini were were moved and were told never to return until 1,000 years later. Birth defects, deformities, and ailments hurt them. The people of the Marianas also say that during that time, there are a noticeable increase in cancer patients due to wind blowing chemical and nuclear fallout in the marshals. Studies found considerable fallout occurred in Guam and Saipan. Did the FSM receive that fallout? With all these things happening, we really need to become vocal if we want to change. Now here are the announcements. Hey guys, these are the announcements. But you can see starting to like, share, support, and keep up by watching the games live. Link can be found on Micro Games Facebook page. Virtual summit to be held on November 22. This summit will consist of nations and groups coming together to discuss climate impact strategies and to reach climate goals by 2020. U.S. Department of Inter- Interior provided a grant that will kick off a pilot project for robotics in Palau. At least 36 st- students and a dozen teachers will be in this training. Thank you, Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 1 for renovating our schools. NMCP1 is currently renovating an A room school in Kushai and Abang. Completion will allow students to a cleaner and safer environment to continue their education. Hey guys, this is Norman and this is the weather for tomorrow. 29 degrees Celsius high during the day and 22 degrees Celsius low during the night. Mostly cloudy and 20 percent of precipitation and 75 percent of humidity hey guys thank you for tuning into another episode of the micronesian news podcast don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm your old smile she may good night until next time